Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's currently 10:21 um, Eastern Time, and you know I'm about to head out, so I want to go ahead and get this video out. Um, what I did want to talk about, I'll probably make another video about this one because it's it's quite a, um, a deep topic, and that's um, you know the ring argument in sports, and then in team sports, such as uh. Mainly what I'm going to do is uh, basketball and football because those are two sports that I have done um, a significant about amount of research on. Um, and I'm going to use some examples of players that constantly get compared, and that's the comparison that most of the fans, you know, I would say most of the, I say casuals, a lot of casuals use that. Now some casuals are smarter and know that it's a team sport when it comes to winning. Um... And that's the Peyton Man and Tom Brady argument. Um, of course, they always use Tom Brady's three rings. Um, Peyton only has one, of course. And, you know, it's a foolish argument because, you know, when Tom Brady was winning those rings, he had a good defense. He had a good defense. The system, you know, people say, well, his receivers weren't good. Yeah, they weren't. But, you know, the system fit what they were trying to do. They, got, got, they had guys that fit the system. So, you know, screen passes, uh, dinking and dunking, short yardage plays. Um, they, they had a run game in the early 2000s, um, and they had a top five defense. Now, there's nothing that's not to take away from anything Peyton, I mean, I'm sorry, anything Tom Brady has done. But during that point in time when they were winning, um, it wasn't solely on, it wasn't solely him. You know, guys were, guys were making plays. You know, receivers were catching the ball, offensive line was blocking, running backs were running, and the defense was stopping people. I mean, that they were doing—that's their job, you know. And and the Patriots really, you know, they really didn't have to as much as they do now. Currently, they didn't have to rely on Tom Brady as much. Tom Brady at that point just don't lose in the game. Now he had. He had some great drives early on in his career. You know, some big moments uh, in the Super Bowl against the Rams. He had to drive to take him down the field against the against the, um, my Panthers. Unfortunately, drive to take him down the field. Um, but he wasn't really relied on for most of, most of the time in the in the early two thousands. But a guy a guy like Peyton, you know, Peyton was drafted was drafted early. You know, he. Drafted to a bad Colts team, and they relied on him from day one, and it really didn't change much after. You no, know, he never really got. He, he never really got the. He did get guys like Marvin Harrison. He get, got Reggie Wayne. You know, on the defense, you had Robin Mathis. Um, he had Dwight Freeney, and then uh, that year they had Bob Sanders. So he did get somewhat wep some weapons, but you know, the G, you know, the GM owner wasn't dedicated to putting guys around him. You can see a lot of that's changed with the Colts, what they're doing, Andrew Luck, and the amount of pieces they're getting around them. But when Peyton was there, you know, they weren't getting the pieces. They were hoping that the team could get hot coming to the playoffs, and they really only worked twice. <laughs> they really only worked twice when they won the Super Bowl against the Bears and when they lost against the Saints getting there. Um, so they were, they were, he had a lot more pressure on them. And, you know, there's been many instances where guys didn't come up when they, when he needed him to. Now there's been times where he did. Yeah, you can you can point out and say yeah he had some bad games, but guys didn't. Um, you know, I can also point out guys didn't make plays. Guys didn't, didn't catch um, catch the ball or the defense couldn't stop the damn body. So you know, it's it, it's something that I never like doing anyway. Is comparing, especially in football, it's, it's so difficult to compare guys in football because there's a lot that goes into football. You know, eleven guys on offense, eleven guys on defense, and eleven guys on special teams. It's a team sport, and the team can you know, the team can affect the way you know, the way a player plays pretty much. You need the offense as a quarterback. You need the offensive line to block, or who the hell can throw the ball, or you need your receiver to catch the ball, or throwing to him means nothing. It could be a perfectly thrown ball, and it could be a drop. You no, know, so the team around you affects how you, how productive you can be, and also affects winning in general. Um, 
the second example I want to use was going to go move over to the NBA is um, we want to do you know the Kobe, LeBron because it's hot is two uh, two of the most popular players currently, um, and that's especially before LeBron got his first ring and it's still going on. Um, and that's you know currently LeBron has two rings and that's. Kobe having five, pretty much five to two. It was at one point five to zero, um, and it's it's a, it's it's definitely still a dumb argument. You know, basketball is still a team sport. There's still so much to go into it. Now, individual players affect the game more, but it's still a team sport, and it still takes a team to win. You know, you can't really point out and say, "Yeah, this one guy did it all by himself," because it's completely not true. You know, I can't. I can't think of one guy who completely did it all by himself and didn't have a solid roster around him and um, and a good coaching staff around him. Um, you know, if you want to actually go, if you actually want to go into a, a debate, you know, using the rings, just don't go into one. You know, actually do research on the players. Um, you know, look. What are they? You no. Know, what are their averages? What are they average for this year? What are some of their best years? Um, shooting percentage, rebounds, assists, uh, steals, blocks. Um, you use win stuff, things such as win shares, uh, MVP awards, defensive player of the year awards. Um, you know, as 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 some and that's some other things you can go into in terms of stats. But you know, that's what you use when you compare individual players. Now, if you compare teams, obviously you can use the ring argument. Because it's it's a team thing, and you're comparing like, well, you say, well, I'm a, I'm a Lakers fan, and my team, you know, is done this more, d done more than your team. I guess, I guess you could go with that because yeah, Lakers do have, Lakers do have this many rings, so you, you can't argue with that. Um, I just can't use it if you know if a team's currently better than you, but if you're doing it as a his historic thing, then yeah, you can use that. Um. It's it's just like saying, it's like saying, um, you know, is is John Havlicek better than Jordan, you know, <laughs> or is John Havlicek just as good as Jordan, or is is Sam Jones better than Jordan? I believe Sam Jones has ten rings, nine or ten rings. Is he better than Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron? Just ask yourself that. He's a Hall of Famer, so it ain't just some ra random role player. He's a Hall of Famer. He was a Hall of Fame on the Celtics team, and you know that Celtics team back in the day was always winning anyway. But you know that right there will you can use that, and that will completely defuse that ring argument. Like asking me, is Sam Jones better than these guys? He has more rings apparently. You know, is Chris Bosh better than Charles Barkley? Is uh, is um, what's some other players I can think of? Mario Chalmers. I mean, I know he's a role player. But Mario Tom better get better than Gary Payton. You know, he has two rings. Gary Payton only has one. You know, that that's the argument. That, that that's the argument you could use to pretty pretty much completely diffuse that because we knew those guys, you know, Sam Jones not better than the got three guys I named. Uh Charles Barkley is light years better than uh than Chris Bosch. And we know Gary Payton is better than Mario Chalmers. You know, it's just the circumstances that, you know, when they were playing you know, this happened or they didn't have the team or the coaching staff or whatever, you know, injuries and anything, can go, you know, can go wrong that can keep you from winning championship, uh, play the teams you're facing or whatever. But, you know, using the ring argument to compare players is absurd. Don't ever do it. Matter of fact, I'm going to end this video on, the, on, on that. Don't ever, please, please, please. Don't use the ring argument. Do research. Think. No, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. And please hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below and let me know some of the stupid things you that uneducated sports fans have told you. And you know, keep it in the realm of did they use the ring argument pretty much? Because you know, I hear it quite often. And Twitter is a very funny place. You know, you will hear some stupid things on Twitter. So, like I said, hit that thumbs up button. 
Comment down below what you think. Subscribe.